What is going on everybody, it is Starkler coming back at you with another Toontown Corporate Clash video and today I am going to be fighting the Rainmaker from the Kudos Board and Barnacle Boatyard. Now again, as a friendly reminder, before anyone tries to go down and fight this boss, you have to make it to level 10 on the Kudos Board and Barnacle Boatyard before you can do this, so you can't just run in and try to fight the boss. They say at the Lighthouse Pier, and they don't say what street it's in, so I'm letting you guys know right now it's on Lighthouse Lane, because you could sort of see the, where the lighthouse is at, hence it's named Lighthouse Lane. I kind of like what they do with the music here, how when you walk in, the music changes. Makes you think you're heading up towards something kind of mysterious, something suspicious. It's kind of weird because we're on like a tropical island and it's December so you have snowflakes coming down and it looks kind of weird but I kind of like what they did with the fog as well so you really just don't know what you're getting yourself into and I have only seen footage of this boss from the Hires and Heroes update trailer so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into either, but I think that's what's going to make this a lot of fun. So again, I have to go and find a group, so uh, just give me like one minute and I will be back with a group to go fight this boss. I've been sitting here for a while and I haven't been able to find a group yet, so I think I might actually have to make my own which is probably going to take me even longer, but that's okay. So the good news is I don't have to teleport to my group because I'm making one right here right now, but I did want to give that yoink person a thank you for pointing out that you can teleport to other people in different groups because I've been doing it ever since, so special thanks for doing that. Thwack, is that like... Is that for like Thwackville or something? Or Oh, I like his leprechaun look. We're not ready yet, though. Just one more. Okay, we lost a member and then we gained one, so hopefully this person's here to stay. What's their, what's their club name? Fruit Busters? That's kind of cool, actually. Here we go. This is it. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Fruit Baskets. We got some people walking backwards, some people moonwalking. <laughs> here goes nothing. First time player present. That must be me. So this is the cog we saw in the trailer. We doing Mercy ending? Don't spoil it! I haven't done it yet! This is my very first time doing this. I've been avoiding spoilers forever. Yeah, teach me how to dip. <laughs> Hmm. Is this the cog that everyone's, like, making all this fan art and fan fictions for? Because I've been seeing stuff on the internet. So we, we could actually go up to level 5, and this cog has over 2,000 health. Over 2,000 health, that's a lot. So I don't know what the whole mercy ending thing is, but... This is my very first time, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. The word for one round... I mean, again, it's only Barnacle Boatyard, so it's probably not going to be too difficult. But they purposely nerfed the tunes down just to make this more challenging. And I'm Tuna Bliss. Oh, now we got some visitors, I see. And it looks like we just get some regular looking cogs. We don't get any, like, projector screen looking cogs. Um... Should I use a lure, or... I, I can lure. Okay. I'm just playing follow the leader. Because these people have a better grasp on this than I do. The music is nice. The raining sound effects are nice. I don't know why we have shadows above our heads, but... That's okay. Liquid 8. Oh, here we go. So we're going to get a unique cog attack that we've never seen before, I bet. So what does this do? Did that, did, did that do anything? What does that do? This tune will take, oh, 10 damage per round. Oil rain. 
Oh, I see. I'm just gonna... I just gotta say this right now, just so that they know. Yeah, we're all gonna take damage. And I still don't think I can use Unites, can I? Yeah, there's no Unites. Oh, and she can heal. Okay. Liquidate. Can I see the Toontanic in the background? Did you guys see that? What I'm thinking we could do is maybe two people use sound and then someone takes out the level 8. Then take out that level 8. Because that's not going to be enough. Those two little sounds are going to be enough to... Okay, that works. That's fine. It's funny how it's snowing outside of all this, but then in this boss fight, it's it's like dark and it's drear dreary and it's raining oil. We gotta learn more about the weather and the atmospheres of Toontown Corporate Clash. I'm not doing too well health-wise. And they healed. Okay, we, we should probably use a lure. The weather is changing. Heavy rain. You know, just because it's my first time doesn't mean I'm guaranteed... Doesn't mean I'm guaranteed the sound will heal, will deal 50% damage. Oh, okay. Let's see, what does that say? Damage is taken will be differed. Okay. I'm gonna use a lure just because the sound doesn't do much damage right now. It would probably be best... Okay, that'll work. Thank you for all the heals. Oh yeah, she's gonna go after him. She's gonna go after her. That's what happens when you attack cogs. Oh, and she attacks twice. I didn't know that. So now what? Just just drop the cog? It, don't, it doesn't do a lot of damage. But sound doesn't do a lot of damage either. She will do more damage the more you hit her this round. Oh, really? Oh. Is this like the boiler? When the boiler's on defense mode, do we just wait it out? Sometimes you can get lucky. Uh, you just hit a little. Just don't overstep it. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky on, like, the first attempt at these bosses. But other times, like, when we get up to the much harder ones, when we make it to, like, the Berg and Drowsy Dreamland, there's not going to be much room to mess up. Going to take you. Whoa! They, she just damaged all, everything. I can weather the storm, Dunes. The weather is changing. Now what? It's getting hard to see. It's like really foggy and it's raining. So what's happening now? I want to get some lure knockback points on there. It's a level 16. I forgot. Oh. Oh, that was worth a try. What are they laughing at? I kind of hope they go for me because I'm the one that doesn't have tune-up. So I'd rather have them go for somebody that can be healed instead of them taking damage because then it's harder for them to get healed. This does 80 damage and that theirs does 90. If all the gags work, we're gonna do a lot of damage this round. Which it looks like we're going to if the drop hits. Here's my question. If they get taken into like a quicksand or a trapdoor when they have no health left, will they just disappear like any other cog with no ending dialogue? Or will there still be dialogue? Will they just fall from the sky? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, they're not doing so well. The weather picks up immensely. What's that? What's happening? 
What's happening? Wait a minute. I don't know what's happening. We have a level 14? What do we do? She's on the left. What are we gonna do then? We need... You gotta, like, heal or something. What do we do? Okay. Alright. I'm just playing follow the leader. Dude, our cat's gonna die, though. Yeah, I don't have sap on this tune. But isn't... We're gonna lose our, our tune. These cogs are strong, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, they're not gonna do damage. Oh, it's because of the... It's like the immense fog, the storm. Oh, I see. So you're gonna finish off... Okay. I guess I'll finish off that one. So we don't have to deal with it anymore. And the cogs can't see us attacking them, so I doubt anything's gonna miss. Unless if it's drop. Wow, that's an interesting mechanic. We've experienced multiple new mechanics in this boss fight. I don't know how long this lasts for. Time heals all wounds. That's just a saying, isn't it? I thought my game crashed, but it didn't. I'm getting closer to maxing my lure. Kill the EXC9. I have to lure here, or else we run the risk of all of us dying. There you go. It's pretty intense. I didn't think it would be this hard, considering it's just the second Kudos board boss. Again, I don't plan on making any videos on the cogs that you could find on the street, just because um, they're just... You could e anybody can easily go and fight them on the street. You don't need to do any tasks or anything to do them. And they are unique in their own way, but I just think that the stuff on the kudos board takes more effort to get to that point. I'm gonna go for them. I'm gonna try using another lure. Just gonna hope that it works. I don't know what lure's accuracy is when you toss out a trap in a boss fight. red. That's gonna do a lot of damage. A level 14 EXE cog. Oh no. Oh my gosh. He went for me. Oh jeez. This is not looking good for me. Oh, if she went for me, I would have died there. And the weather's changing. Now what? <laughs> I'm gonna take 10 damage per round, so they better heal me this round. Sound here, to be honest? Okay. I'm gonna use sound, and they're all gonna go after me. Wish me good luck, guys. This time, I'm gonna thank this person. I locked in my gag choice. Come on, fruit basket. There, I feel better now. You're welcome. 696 health. Do we just sound again? Do we just sound again? I appreciate this cat. He's done this before. 100 damage. That's pretty good. I still love the new Lava design. Oh, no, that's not good. 15 damage. Oh, and then we take the extra 10. Yeah, that's right. No, stop hitting us. Oh, no. Fog. Whoa. Now it's getting really foggy. What do we do? 
Does lure still work? That's what I want to know. We're just going to play our cards right. Even though we can't really see much. Thank you to everybody that used Tune Up. I'm just going to hope that my lure does something. Can lure work through fog? And it missed. Oh, aren't we fantastic. They can't attack us through the fog, though, can they? Oh, okay. Well, that question was answered. Oh, they damaged me. Looks like she's mid-right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, she is mid-right. I was about to ask what the point of the fog was, but it actually does make it harder to see stuff. Tight spin, misty, middleman, what? Do we just go for it? That's like 180... Okay. How much health does she have left? Other cogs are still on lure. Fair warning. Are we gonna go sad? I think I could feel it. Oh no. I have 18 health left. Reorg. What does that mean? Oh jeez. Brainstorm. Don't do anything else to us. I will lure. If I can survive- Oh my gosh, I have three health left! Fucking mother. We good, barely. Oh my gosh, I have three health left! What do we do? That's not gonna be enough though, is it? Oh no. That's not gonna be enough, is it? Wait, 73, 93, 73. It might be enough. I don't know, I can't do my math fast enough. Oh, please be enough. Can I clutch this on three laugh? Come on. One, two, three. No! It's over! I died! Wait, my game just crashed. That was not enough! You lied to me! They actually lied to me! They did this to me on purpose! <laughs> they did this to me! No! I'm having a bad day today. Yeah, they feel bad. Oh my gosh. Wow, and he was the only one that made it too. The guy who knew what he was doing was the only one to survive. We were we we were so close. That was enough. And we just couldn't make it. The final attack. That's a sad ending, bro. Well, I find myself back here again, so you guys know the drill. It is time for me to find a group to the best of my abilities. Oh, interesting use of gags. All right, well, we got to try. You know what? You know what I'm saying? We just have to try. Worth a shot. No, don't power trip us. We need to make sure that if we do defeat this cog, we have to have enough health to withstand that final attack. Because that's what she does to us. Once you defeat her, she's going to be like, Oh no, you think you won? Let me hit you one more time. It's like the, how the boiler used to be when you used to take damage. Like the flaming damage. And here it's the complete opposite. You're taking a power trip from rain based cogs. We're just slowly chipping them down. This group seems to have a much better grasp on this boss than the last one, because I think all three of these people here, or all four of us, actually have experience with this boss. I think it's a possibility. I can tell this boss fight is going much faster than the other one. What's that purple light on the on that one cog on the left. They all have purple lights. I wonder what that means. Oh, you see, then we take the damage. Please survive this. Wait. They still have 50 health. They still heal. Oh, wait. Oh, I think it's over. Okay. I think that's it. Covered in purple cream from the pies. Wait, stop, you don't have to do this. 
Oh, we get to choose. What's the better... Mercy or kill? What's the better option? Either or. Mercy or kill, mercy or kill, mercy or kill. Mercy! I'm doing mercy. I'm doing mercy. Do you just pass and let them live? I'm not gonna kill the cog. Doesn't really matter. If mercy, you just get to see a cutscene. Okay, then let's do mercy then. I wanna see the cutscene. I wanna see it. I don't get it. Even when I stayed out of everyone's way, you still tried to hurt me. Well, you tried to hurt us. Mercy. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like... Oh wait, I don't want to spoil Undertale, but I think you guys know. Mercy. <laughs> what is that emote? <laughs> you went and fought the... The Flaming Cog Boss, whatever that one's name is. Oh, don't play dumb with me. Lying only makes it worse. You know what you came here to do. <gasps> I want to make friends with a cog. I don't see why it can't happen. But every time I try, you're mean to me. Dude, I remember I went up to this tune named Bessie. I asked her if we could play tic-tac-toe. She tried to drop a piano on me. Oh, well, that's pretty true to her character. Why did she do that? There was no reason. Don't step on the marbles. I'm, I'm thinking like one of them's gonna pull out a lure. <laughs> it's really easy from where you are to judge me. I know you do. Bessie wasn't the only one I talked to. But the shame of it is, you're not even the worst. Those other suits have hurt me too. Well, we'll be nice to you. They've hurt me in ways that you wouldn't understand. Darn, this is getting emotional. Maybe someday I'll share some of that pain with someone like you. Is that it? Marbles? Yeah, the marbles are still there. Oh, she left the marbles. Oh, But that's it. We did it. We won. That is the boss fight for you guys. We chose Mercy. If we chose kill, she probably would have just said, like, oh, everybody hurts me, and then probably would have just blown up. So, kudos to this group for actually... Oh, you see what I did there? Kudos. Special thank you to this group of people for showing mercy to the cog. Because that was a really cool ending to that. Um, yeah, well, that was a lot of fun. So, that is the Rainmaker boss fight. And I guess I can go visit Barnacle Bessie and finish this up. So, give me one second. Barnacle Bessie dropping pianos left and right. It's done. Why the long face? She didn't want to fight. You mean to cause you didn't mean to cause any trouble? Yeah, we didn't kill her. Wow, even us as tunes are given a choice on how we want this to end. Well anyways. That is pretty much it for the Rainmaker boss fight. I didn't know there were two endings until I stepped foot into there. And it just sucks that I died at the very end of that boss fight. So I'm going to have to see which footage I'm going to use. Maybe I could use a little bit of both. But either way, that's pretty much it for this boss fight. The next one I'm going to be fighting is the one on the Kudos board for Daffodil Gardens. And that'll probably take me a while before I do that one. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun getting to do this. And I think it'll probably be around Christmas Eve when this video goes up. So Merry Christmas to everybody that chose to tune in and watch this. And I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, show some, uh, show some, what, mercy to the cogs, I guess. Maybe if they, if they show mercy to us. Did they get rid of the wave? No, there it is. Show some mercy.